Jennifer Priest here to share with you a fun and crazy project. This is a monster pencil caddy that I made out of smooth foam felt and duct tape. It's super easy. So the first thing you need to do is get two half hollow smooth foam eight inch balls. And I'm taking a steak knife here to kind of cut an angled uh, flat area on the bottom uh, half of the ball. That way it will sit flat. And then I'm going to also take the steak knife and cut kind of a mouth opening, um, kind of think like a Muppet mouth. So you want to cut like a section off the top and a section off the bottom half balls um, so that there's that opening for the mouth. And inside the mouth is where you're going to put all of the erasers. So um, you could do the same cutting for if you wanted to make it like a bear head or a frog or whatever. Now here I'm taking some felt and I'm making a tongue for the inside of my monster. So I took a half sheet of Presto felt from Kunin and stuck it to some glitter felt and then I just cut it out and then rounded the end to make it look like a crazy big tongue sticking out of the mouth. Because I kind of wanted to go for like a Mario, you know like on Mario they have those weird uh, plant things or like on uh, Little Shop of Horrors. So that's what I was going for. Then I took some hot pink acrylic paint um, from Deco Art here and I'm just painting the whole inside of the mouth with this hot pink paint. And then I am also using some green here on the outside and I'm just really messy painting it on. Um, this is just kind of a primer, this first coat here on the outside. And I'm going to add some more um, shades of green and also some uh, duct tape later to help reinforce this. So I, I hot glued those two halves together to get it to stick together to make this head shape. And you also want to make sure that you paint that bottom part there too, that that flat edge that you've cut. That's going to help it to not peel anymore. So here I'm cutting about a one and a half inch wide strip of uh, more white Kunin felt and this is a 9 by 12 sheet. And I'm using some Westcott nonstick scissors here to cut through the two layers of that felt at once to make teeth. So I'm just cutting like a zigzag pattern and that's going to give me um, four pieces of teeth that I can use. So here I'm using um, some scotch duct tape to uh, put on that back seam between the two balls and to kind of help reinforce it a little bit more. And then I'm just using an acrylic paintbrush with some more paint. I got two different shades of green here to kind of add some more interest. And um, you can paint scales if you want. I tried painting scales and then I gave up on that idea. Um, you can paint stripes or dots or whatever you want to do. And I just ended up kind of blending the paints together and making kind of a streaky finish on this guy. My daughter thought that it looked kind of like a watermelon. So if you wanted to make it like a crazy watermelon, you could do that too. Now, once your paint is mostly dry, you're going to take your teeth and hot glue them to the mouth. So I did two layers of teeth. I hot glued one layer of teeth on the inside and one layer of teeth on the outside of the mouth. So like you could also make this be like a shark head and put in a couple different layers of teeth in there as well. Um, and you want to be careful because it is hot, the hot glue. So um, when you're working on a strange surface like this where it's kind of at a weird angle, um, just be careful not to burn yourself. And then you can see here I'm going to uh, make sure that my felt fits and then add just a bead of hot glue there and stick my felt teeth right to that hot glue. So again, I'm repeating this on the top and the bottom. And then you can use the scissors to kind of trim on the sides if you need to trim any of the uh, teeth off if you have like too many teeth. Here you can really see those layers of teeth really well. And again, just a bead of hot glue is going to hold that on. And I'm also going to make lips. So that's going to help hold this on too um, and to disguise it. So before I make the lips, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue the tongue. Now, if I was doing this over again, I would put the tongue in first and then just stick the glue gun inside and kind of squirt some glue in there because I did end up burning my finger. <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm cutting some strips of just scrap felt and kind of rolling it up in a tube. And then I'm taking a piece of the duct tape and um, I'm putting my little tube of felt on there. And then I'm going to roll it up to make like a lip that then I can put around the mouth. And I'm not rolling it all the way. I want to have a little bit of that adhesive uh, still out. Um, and still exposed so that I can stick this lip 
to the uh, mouth. So you can see here I've pressed it down and that's going to cover that seam of the felt and also um, give it a little bit more dimension and fun. So here I put some hot glue in my strip and I'm using that to kind of help hold it all together while I roll the little tube of felt up. And I'm just using the felt because it was handy. You can use cardboard or uh, fabric or whatever you want to put in here. If you have um, like tubing or rope or um, piping, you could put that in here too. So again, I'm just pressing that um, exposed part of the duct tape to the head there to get it to stick down. And then I'm going to trim the edges. Now, I, this didn't stick as well as I wanted it to, so I just cut a couple little pieces of duct tape to kind of hold the corners of the mouth down, especially because I, I imagined like little kids coming and messing with it, and so I wanted it to stay together really well. And then again, I'm just adding some more reinforcement there with the hot glue on the tongue, making sure that the teeth are sticking out the way that they should. And then um, I decided to take more duct tape and kind of reinforce around the um, head but because it's curved it's kind of hard to curve this whole two inch wide piece of duct tape so I used a craft knife and cut it in half to make it one inch wide and that seemed to be a lot easier to work with on the curved surface so I just pressed that down around the um, strip of duct tape that was already on the head and use that to kind of reinforce it and then I used the craft knife to trim the little corners um, so that I got a nice crisp edge on the those corners there. Now once you're done with um, adding all your duct tape you can add some more strips of duct tape like I did here on the head and then I used some acrylic paint to paint over that so it was really nice that the paint will stick to the duct tape. And then I adhered some strips of fun fur to the top of the head to make like a mohawk. And then I cut these two zigzag strips just like I did the teeth, but I cut them out of a Presto felt from Kunin. So it's a self-adhesive felt like a sticker. So I just stuck that down to kind of edge those, the little mohawk. And then I die cut some circles out of that same Presto felt. And they're basically like felt stickers now. And I put the little circles on the monster like spots. And then for the eyes, I used two inch smooth foam balls and I kind of cut the bottom off a little bit to flatten it just like I did on the half round ball, glued those to the head and then die cut some circles out of black glitter Kunin felt for the little um, eyeballs. And then I stuck those on. So I've got my little felt circles on here and this, the kids could totally help you with this part because there's no glue involved. They won't get burned or anything. Now, um, this part you do have to do yourself. I have a Ryobi drill here with a quarter inch drill bit and I'm just drilling holes in my um, head wherever I want to put my pencils. So you could also make the mohawk into pencils. So instead of putting fur, you could just drill a bunch of holes there and then have the pencils form the mohawk on the monster if you wanted to. Um, and this does get a little bit messy, so I'm kind of blowing to get these... Um, blowing air to kind of get all the little fuzz off and you can use scissors too to kind of trim any fuzz or if you drill through the fabric you might have some like little hangy pieces so you can use your scissors to kind of trim that and get any excess stuff off or use a vacuum cleaner to help clean this up too because these little pieces of uh, foam are a little bit staticky. Now once you have your holes um, all cleaned up you can just go ahead and start sticking your pencils in and your caddy is ready to use. You'll fill the inside of the mouth with some erasers and just have fun with the kids you know having this fun little caddy to get their pencils and erasers out of. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, please hit that subscribe button here at the end and click the link to visit our website. Thanks. Bye.